Saturday. Who changed the day? Was it God? No. Was it Jesus? People say Jesus did it. No, he didn't. People say, well, it must have been the apostles. No, it wasn't the apostles. The Bible tells me and my friend, this is as plain as the nose on your face. When I go through this great prophecy and I, everybody agrees with every point, but when we get to this one, they say, oops. But oops won't do. The Antichrist changed the day. And my friend who is here today is going to come and he's going to read, Mr. Vince Morton, he's going to come and read from the official writings of the, as they call it, the Holy Roman Catholic Church. Listen to this. These are the unadulterated statements from popes and other Roman Catholic leaders. Our beloved father, Pope Leo XIII, said, We hold upon this earth the place of God Almighty. Our beloved father, Pope Gregory VII, said, One, that the Roman Church was founded by the Lord alone. Two, that the Roman Pontiff alone is justly called universal. Three, that he alone can depose bishops or restore them. Four, that all princes should kiss the feet of the Pope alone. Five, that it is lawful for him to depose emperors. Six, that his sentence ought not to be reviewed by anyone, and he alone can review the decisions of all. Seven, that he ought to be judged by no one. Eight, that the Roman Church never erred, nor will it, according to Scripture, ever err. I have repeatedly offered $1,000 to anyone who can prove to me from the Bible alone that I am bound to keep Sunday holy. There is no such law in the Bible. It is a law of the Holy Catholic Church alone. The Bible says, remember the Sabbath day to keep it holy. The Catholic Church says, no, by my divine power I abolish the Sabbath day and command you to keep holy the first day of the week. And lo, the entire civilized world bows down in a reverent obedience to the command of the Holy Catholic Church. T. N. Wright, CSSR, in a lecture at Hartford, Kansas, February 18, 1884. The Catholic Church for over 1,000 years before the existence of a Protestant, by virtue of her divine mission, changed the day from Saturday to Sunday. The Catholic Mirror, September 23, 1893. Question, which is the Sabbath day? Answer, Saturday is the Sabbath day. Question, why do we observe Sunday instead of Saturday? Answer, we observe Sunday instead of Saturday because the Catholic Church in the Council of Laodicea A.D. 336, transferred the solemnity from Saturday to Sunday. Peter Geierman, The Convert's Catechism of Catholic Doctrine, 2nd edition, 1910, page 50. Question, have you any other way of proving that the church has power to institute festivals of precept? Answer, had she not such power, she could not have done that in which all modern religionists agree with her. 
she could not have substituted the observance of Sunday, the first day of the week, for the observance of Saturday, the seventh day, a change for which there is no scriptural authority. Stephen Keenan, A Doctrinal Catechism, page 174. There is but one church on the face of the earth which has the power or claims power to make laws binding on the conscience, binding before God, binding under penalty of hell fire. For instance, the institution of Sunday. What right has any other church to keep this day? You answer by virtue of the third commandment. The papacy changed the fourth commandment and called it the third, which says, remember that thou keep holy the Sabbath day. But Sunday is not the Sabbath. Any schoolboy knows that. Sunday is the first day of the week. I have repeatedly offered $1,000 to anyone who will prove by the Bible alone that Sunday is the day we are bound to keep, and no one has called for the money. It was the Holy Catholic Church that changed the day of rest from Saturday, the seventh day, to Sunday, the first day of the week. T. Enright, CSSR, in a lecture delivered in 1893. Thank you, Bishop.